Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have week number three of the UBL and uh, we're going to be taking on Goki Gamer and his Milwaukee Meta Champs. Um, if you guys did not watch UPBA week two, we got 6 0 by Goki. So I am looking for some serious revenge this week. Uh, let me just tell Goki I'll be I'll be 152. That's fine. Um, I do want to sort of like just uh, start a little bit earlier, I guess, the recording because I want to give you a rundown of the team uh, because I think uh, I mean, I don't know. These leagues are so fun. I have so much fun playing them and all the sets are so interesting. So like watching other people's battles for the UBL is very, very entertaining. And I very much like to see what sets people are bringing. So just figure I'd give you guys the sort of same type of thing, you know, and, and stuff. So um, we got Choice Bex Drampa because Choice Bex Drampa goes absolutely in on his team. If he doesn't bring his Swirlix, then Draco Meteor basically picks up a kill. He has a Steelix, but Spadef Steelix takes like 50% from Draco. Uh, and if I click Surf, that thing's dead. So doesn't really deal with it all that well. Uh, we have a Senta Scorch, which is kind of like a wall breaker. The thing I like about Senta Scorch is that it's always bulky enough to take hits, but it's also really good at like wall breaking because if there is something that I struggle to get through, I can fire lash it and then I can go ahead and just kill it from there. And it's so good. Uh, Goki does have a Colossal. So this week we are packing the Scorching Sands as like a tech to be able to kill that. Uh, pretty, pretty nice. Uh, then we have Regirock with Weakness Policy. We, we are running Rock Polish, Stone, uh, Stone Edge, Rock Blast, and the Drain Punch. So the thing, the idea is to get hit by something uh, with Regirock, Rock Polish up, and then clean up from there because his only Rock Resist is the Steelix. Steelix is going to be pressured a lot by Drampa, and on top of that, I can basically not only activate my Weakness Policy on the Steelix, but once I'm at plus two, I can Drain Punch it, get a load of health back, and do around like 50% if he's just like a max HP set. Really, really happy with the Red Rock this week. I definitely think it can win. Uh, then we just have a, you know, mixed defensive Lantern because he has a Raichu, can be pretty problematic to the team, so that helps deal with that. Uh, we have Sub Disable uh, Haunter with Double Stab because he has a Buffalon, which could potentially have something to break my sub, but I'm banking on only having one move to break my sub, so I'm going to be able to Sub Disable it and then just sit in front of it and just Sludge Wave it, and, and it's probably a 3 KO, so Haunters, I think, is going to put in work this week as well. And then, uh, last but not least, is Garboder, which is probably going to be my lead, I think, depending on what I see, because uh, he doesn't have a ground poison type, so if I can get Toxic Spikes up straight away, that'd be really, really good. His hazard removal uh, isn't the great, like, he has an Altaria and a Colossal. Uh, I have Stopping Tantrum on my Garboder, so I'll be able to kill the Colossal uh, if it wants to lead against me, and I'll be able to live any one hit from it without a problem, be able to KO it back. So I'm feeling quite good about this team. I definitely think we have a good matchup. Uh, Goki has Pokemon like, uh, let me just put in the 152. Uh, go ahead. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, Goki has stuff like, uh, he has a Raichu, he has Steelix, he has uh, Lapras, Thwacky, uh, Duosion, Spiritomb, Swirlix, Altaria, and Buffalon, and Colossal. I think I already mentioned that. Um, so, I don't know. Like I said, I feel kind of good with this matchup in before I lose again. But I got 6 0 by Goki, and I, I really don't want to do that again. So, um, we'll see the team that he's bringing here. Let me just wish him good luck, have fun. And if you end up watching the video, good luck, have fun. Goki, IRL, in person, by voice, yes. Uh, so it brings the Lapras, the Buffalon, Steelix, Duosion, Altaria, and Colossal. It doesn't bring the, the uh, okay, so two things I noticed. He didn't bring the Raichu, which I think was probably his best thing against my team. Uh, he also did not bring the Swirlix. So Drampa gets in and clicks Draco Meteor, and uh, I'll have a lot of fun with that. Uh, Lapras could be a little bit of a problem depending on what it is. If it's like freeze dry, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem. I don't switch into Steelix super well, so that's probably going to be a little bit of an issue too. But uh, because I don't see the Thwacky, uh, I'm just going to lead off with my Garboder. And I'm going to try to set up Hazard straight away. He did bring his two Hazard removal mons, but if he's like Defog Altaria, then I don't know. I, I just don't think I care all that much. And Altaria is probably an easy thing for my Regirock to pop its weakness policy. So I'm feeling confident in this one. I'm not even going to take the full time to choose my team. I'm just going to go ahead and lock in Garboder straight away. Uh, I am feeling much, much better. Sorry, the last couple of videos that you, you guys have probably watched weren't the... Well, actually, for uh, this, you, this goes up on Sunday, so you probably would have seen EWT and UPBA. Um, but last week, I wasn't feeling well at all, and the videos probably wasn't the greatest quality possible, but... It is what it is. I'm just gonna lower the sound a little bit. So he leads off with Song of the Sea, which is the, um, which is the Lapras, indeed. Okay. Um, 
I think I'm just gonna go ahead and click Toxic Spikes. Lapras it gets Dragon Dance, but I'm not too worried about it, I don't think. So I'm just I'm just clicking Toxic Spikes. We'll see what uh, my man Goki decides to go for. Goki is definitely, oh, he is, he is Dragon Dance. I literally called it, and he's faster than me too. Okay, um, I'm panicking now, guys, because this is very, very dangerous. What is, if he's like, uh, yeah, if he's Dragon Dance, Waterfall, stuff like, Waterfall, um, does he get any physical ice attack? Ice Shard maybe, and then Earthquake, he potentially could win here. Um, let me look up Lapras' move pool. I love how my tone just absolutely changed. I was like, yeah, no, I'm going to be completely fine with, like, uh, this matchup feel really good about, it. and then he, this man whips out this. So he goes for Drill Run. Do I live at least one? I don't. Damn, this is bad, guys. Got oh, that's a crit. No, that's actually not. Hmm. Let me see. Lapras. I definitely think that mattered, though. I definitely think that ended up mattering. Uh, because I don't, I didn't see any boosting items. So 252 drill run at plus one. Yeah, that definitely mattered. Damn, that sucks. That does 90% maximum. If he's 252 adamant, no boosting item. Hmm. Well, that is unfortunate. Lantern. Lantern also lives one hit no matter what. Volt Switch does about 40% to it. Ah, uh, that really sucked. That crit sucked. Because Gunk Shot into the, the Rocky Helmet plus Aftermath would have put him in range of this thing. Easily, 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 easily. Uh, I'm not sturdy on Red Rock, but I'm pretty sure Red Rock could live a hit from this thing, right? Let me just check. Reggie rock if you have liquidation yeah plus one you do like 70 percent so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go lantern i want i want to go lantern and i'm gonna volt switch uh please don't crit me again that was very rude of you goki that was very very rude of you does a crit kill me i mean a crit has a 37 percent chance to kill me so it's not a super high chance to kill me either, even with the crit. So we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and Volt Switch. We'll see what type of item he is. Yeah, Drill run a gun. Don't crit me. He did crit me. Bro, Goki, are you like Scope Lens? Is that is that what's going on here? Is he Scope Lens? He's Weakness Policy. Yo, I think I just lost. Honestly, I think I just lost. Uh, let me see. Uh, Lapras. Bro, uh, every time I play Goki, it's just complete chaos. I can never... Yeah, he outspeeds me. I think I do lose, though, guys. That's unfortunate. You at plus three. You definitely kill my Regirock. Drampa... Uh, if you have, what ice type attack does, do you get? You get Avalanche. You also get Ice Shard. You don't get the best physical ice stab. So let me see if Ice Shard at plus three kills me. Ice Shard. Yeah. It, I, I think we lose. Because I'm not, I'm not sturdy on that thing. Why do you have to crit me like that? Why you gotta crit me like that? First turn. I I I'm just gonna get six would by Goki again. Different league, same same shit. But this time it's because I got crit turn one. This time it's because I got crit turn one. I mean if he's like uh scope lens or something. That's one thing. If he's not. No, he was weakness policy. Oh he has Megahorn. Does a plus three Megahorn kill me? Oh, I live on 1 HP. No way, Drampa. You're the MVP. Drampa, my guy. My guy, Drampa. My guy, Drampa. That was a 70% chance for him to Oko me. 75% chance. But I deserve that because I got crit. And I know Drill Run is a high crit ratio. But the move can also miss. And he did not miss. And he got the crit. So, my guy, Adrampa, you are absolutely goaded. You're, you're literally built like a goat. Literally built like a goat. Jesus Christ, that was amazing. Okay, chill. We're back in the game, dudes. 
We still have all the win conditions we need. He's going to Dragon Dance with Altaria, probably. Uh, he didn't bring Raichu, right? So I think I'm okay with sacking off my Lantern. And there's no way this man goes ahead and Dragon Dances in front of me, right? I'm a freaking Drampa. I can just Hyper Voice you. There's no way you're, you're Dragon Dancing in front of me, too, right? Nah, there's no shot. Yeah, he goes for Dragon Claw. Okay. Right. Okay. This was... Mm, he's Life Orbed. Ooh, nice. Interesting. Now. Mm, I can either try to go for game with Regirock, but it may be... Let me just calc how much a Life Orbed uh, Altaria does to... At level 50. Let's just say he's adamant just for the sake of it. With the life orb. I just want to see Earthquake. Earthquake does 40% to Regirock. Hmm. I don't want to do it just yet though. So I'm going to go out into Haunter and I'm going to click Substitute. Does this thing get dual wing beat? But he shouldn't stay in. Like he has a buffalo on. Right? Dual. You do get dual wing beat though. So I do have to pay attention to that. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna substitute, like, I, I think he's 100% going into Buffalon, right? Like, that's the reason why you brought that thing, isn't it? Yeah. That's the reason you bring this thing. I want to see what he has to break my sub. Oh, and he's poisoned too. Fantastic. Perfect. This is exactly what I needed. Substitute. We'll get the Black Sludge too. This thing is going to get slowly chipped down. I'm going to Sludge Wave him, see how much damage it does. And, uh... Bro, that Drampa living on 1 HP was actually clutch. Holy shit. Holy shit. You probably get- th you're probably running Throat Chop, I think. Rock Slide. Oh, okay. So, you'll probably have more than a move to break my sub, so I'm not staying in here. I'm not staying in here. I am definitely not staying in here. But good chip on this thing. So the last time I click Sludge Wave, I'm definitely be I'm definitely gonna be able to two hit KO him, which is great. Um, I think I need to go. Yeah, I absolutely have to go Red Rock. I can't go Scent Scorch when he just showed me Rock Slide. Even if he doesn't click it again, I cannot go into it. Uh, I could potentially use this opportunity to try to counter sweep him with Rock Polish, Rock Slide again, because he's probably gonna have like CC or something, right? So. I think now would be a pretty good... Does he stay in or does he just go Steelix? I think he goes Steelix. So... I'm gonna click Drain Punch, I think. I'm gonna click Drain Punch so I can be at maximum HP possible. Then once the Steelix come in and Earthquakes me, I'm going to Rock Polish and then go for another Drain Punch. Yeah, I think th I think that's the play. Or, or he's just going to stay in and just give me this thing. Okay, Drain Punch. That thing goes down. Perfect. Regirock is pretty much at full HP again, I'm pretty sure. So even if Steelix does come in... Let me see. Steelix, if you're not offensive, you're doing 38% to me. If you are an offensive Steelix with Adamant, let's just give you sh Sheer Force. Sheer... If I can find the ability, where is Sheer Force? Bro, I'm literally typing it and it's not coming up. Sheer Force. Thank you. Thank you. Life Orbed with Iron Head. I want to see how much that does. That's the most damage you can do to me. That's honestly the most damage. Iron Head. So that does 73%. If he's like super offensive type of Steelix set. Um... But that also means that Drain Punch does around 36%. My thing is, like, I don't really have a switch into Steelix. That's my problem. Like, I definitely think he's cooking, like, either Earthquake or Iron Head, so I could go Scent to Scorch. But I really would rather not go Scent to Scorch. So I'm just going to Drain Punch. I'm going to Drain Punch again. I want to see what we're dealing with here. He's faster than me. Okay. He's gonna pop my weakness policy though. Is that offensive? That did 175 to 95. So if I do calculator, 
175 minus 95 is 80 points of damage. That did uh, so much damage. That did so much damage. Uh, yeah, he's definitely not life orb, but he could be... Yeah, he, I think he's just max attack adamant. So with all the HP that I got back, I'm now going to rock polish this turn. If he goes for another uh, earthquake, I'll be able to drain punch my health back. And then we'll be in a pretty good spot to be able to try to sweep from there, I guess. So, he goes for Earthquake, 140 down to 60. Yeah, that's 80 points of damage. So, I, I think he is the uh, max HP type of, uh, or max attack adamant type of set. So, I think Drain Punch at plus 2 will kill you from here, right? There's no shot it doesn't, I think. Or even if it doesn't, like, I get enough HP back, right? Let me kill Drain Punch. I do 48 to 57, so even if, he, if he's max HP, no defense though. So we'll see if we're able to pick up the knockout here. Dude, I thought I completely lost this game with that Lapras type set. I knew Lapras was going to be a problem because just the coverage it gets really, really does my team hard. Uh, I just didn't expect to get crit turn one or the, the on the Garboder. It's a little bit unfortunate because if I got the um, gunk shot damage off, then I wouldn't have to like take all that health on Lantern and uh, and Drampa. So a little bit unfortunate. Okay, so Steelix does go down to the Regirock. I don't know if he has much to deal with Regirock at this point, honestly. Like I know he has the Duosian. I know he has the Colossal. Um, he has the Altaria. I don't know if he has that many things to um, to deal with my things. So he goes into Cell. Which, you're going to get poisoned, but are you Magic Guard, or are you going to be Regenerator? Uh, if this thing ends up being Iron Defense, I can go into uh, Scent to Scorch, so I'm not too concerned about that. I'm just going to click Stone Edge. We do hit. Duosion takes a million. A million. He goes for Acid Armor. Na 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 na. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Uh, what has better accuracy? I think Rock Blast has better accuracy, right? Yeah, it's 90 based accurate. Because uh, if he goes for Recover, that's really going to suck. Uh, I'm going to Rock Blast. 90% accurate. Come on, Regirock. Nice. Okay. You're going to die. Right? Yes. You're dead. Okay. Regirock picks up a second kill. Ooh, is this going to be a counter sweep? Did we both bring a weakness policy setup mon that was going to counter sweep each other? Is that is that what's going on here? He goes into Volga. I think you die to... I think you die to Stone Edge. You do. So I'm going to click Stone Edge. I could have clicked Drain Punch, but I want to get burnt. Nice. Regirock doesn't miss Stone Edges. Let's go, Regirock. You're amazing. I think we have this one in the bag, boys. I think we have this one in the bag. Is this the last Mon? No, he has... Yeah, it is. Um, I'm going to click Rock Blast. I'm going to click Rock Blast. And we're going to hit. And Red Rock is going to pick up a bunch of kills. And we're going to pick up a win against Goki. But, dude, that game was an absolute roller coaster of emotions. I thought I had lo lost turn one when that Lapras set up. And then he crit my Garboder and I couldn't get the damage off on it. And then I went into my Lantern. I Volt Switch and I popped his weakness policy. And then Drampa fucking lives on one HP. Bro, Drampa, you're the absolute GOAT. I'm going to change your nickname to Goated instead of Snoop. You are absolutely goaded. And then Redrock did what I thought Redrock would do in this game because Redrock was really, really good against this team. His only uh, sort of like rock resist was Steelix, but Steelix was also setup fodder for my Redrock. So it was going to work out in the end. Um, that Lapras was a little bit scary though because I did not bring Sturdy. If I if I was Sturdy, I would have been a lot chiller about it, but I wasn't Sturdy on Redrock. So the fact that Drampa lives on one HP right there is absolutely clutch. Oh my God. Dude, guys, if you haven't liked, if you haven't left a like on the video, if this battle does not warrant a like, I don't know what you guys are on. I don't know what you guys have been watching, but this battle definitely deserves a like. And make sure you go ahead and check out Goki's side as well, because that man is very energetic. He has the craziest reaction, so I want to see his reaction to this game, because this game was absolutely crazy, fantastic, phenomenal. I love UBL low tier. It's so much fun. I haven't had this much fun playing Pokemon in such a long time, so guys... Thank you guys very much for watching the video. I can't even speak. I'm just slurring words at this point. So, dude, I love you all.
Thank you guys very much for watching. Leave a like, you comment, you subscribe, and uh, I'll speak to you all next time. Peace.